Hello guys, it's been a long time since the last update, but here it is, the new ChessBot X 1.5.8. It's a pretty big update actually. It contains several cool new features, many improvements, and a few bug fixes. So let's take a look. First of all, there are a few changes in the interface. As you can see, Engine Strength and Voice tabs was removed. Now you can control strength of the engine straight on the main tab. You also may have noticed the track bar, which will allow you to change depth or time in a more convenient way. If you want to change the calculation mode, just press the settings button on the panel, and then just select the mode play by depth, play by time, or fixed time per move. Yes, there is a new playing method. In the fixed time mode, the chess engine will analyze each move for a strictly specified amount of time. It's pretty useful for the analysis purposes. Both advisor and automatic chess bot can use this mode. If you need to set up the calculation method more precisely, you can select custom value checkbox. This will work for all three basic modes. For the play by depth mode, you will be able to set value above 20 or turn on floating depth feature. For the play by time, you can set any time control you want with the increment. And also, turn on or turn off pondering feature also known as Permanent Brain. For the fixed time mode, you can also set the precise value in milliseconds. And one more cool thing, here are the hotkeys for changing depth. Now you can press numpad plus or numpad minus to control depth even during the game. Now a few words about the play by key feature. For those who forgot, this option allows bot to play each move only after you press a specific key on the keyboard. By default, now it is button 9. So in ChessBot X 1.5.8, this option will affect not only automatic mode, but all modes, including advisor and coach. For example, advisor will not show the current move until you press the 9 key. It's pretty useful for training games. Now let's talk about the advisor mode. Press the settings button to open the advisor configuration window. And yes, as you can see, advisor now support multi-PV option. This option forced the chess engine to output not one, but several best lines, or PVs, principal variations, when searching. You can set up to five lines to show on the board. Also, you can change the color of the marks for each line and size of the marks, and you can also see the score for each line. Also, as you may see, the voiceover feature now moved here. Enable it if you would like to hear the moves. For those who are unfamiliar with this feature, here it is. Pawn E4. Pawn E5. Pawn F6. The last, but not the least, the recognition delays. These delays allow to recognize moves properly, especially if the website has moves animation. You can try to lower these values to speed up the advisor, but if the chess bot became unstable and shows the strange or impossible moves on the board, then increase these values back. Also, it is strongly recommended to turn off moves animation on the website. Okay, let's move forward. So here is the brand new feature of the chess bot X 1.5.8, the coach mode. This mode has several options, but the main rule bot will not show you the best moves. Instead, you play the game by yourself and coach will evaluate each of your moves, evaluate whole position, show current threats, and even play a couple of cool and funny games with you. Let's take a closer look. Moves evaluation feature. When this option is active, ChessBot will show you was your last move good or bad, straight on the chessboard. I don't know why, but I personally really like this feature. It's really awesome, you should try it. There are five grades, excellent, good, okay, mistake, and blunder. 
You can choose which moves should be evaluated. Yours, your opponent, or both. Cool, isn't it? Next, Thermometer. With this option, ChessBot will evaluate a current position on the board and show score as black and white bar, also known as Thermometer. You can configure size and initial position of it. Also, you can drag it with your mouse. You can use it in your own games or while watching some match of Grandmasters. Show Threats option. This feature will allow you to see what moves of your opponent are a threat to you in the current position. For example, here the opponent will take your queen on the next move, if you will not move it. You can ask bot to show up to three threats. If you like to hang your pieces, you will definitely find this feature useful. You can combine the listed options or even enable them all at once. Next two features, however, will work separately. Now a few words about games which you can play with the bot. First game is called Hand and Brain. How do you play this game? It's simple. Chessbot says the name of the piece, Pawn, and you should find and play the move that bot has in mind. For example, Chessbot X says Rook in this position. Rook. You should analyze the position and find out what move engine has in mind. I guess rook c1 is a good move here. After you play the move, program will immediately show whether it was right or not. Let's try it. Yep, this was the right move. One more. Pawn. Ah, tough luck. Try it someday. It's pretty interesting. Queen. Rook. Rook. Bishop. Rook. Queen. The second game is similar. Chessbot will show you several variants of the next move on the screen straight in your game, but only one of them, suggested by the engine. Others are just random moves. You need to choose and play on the board the move suggested by the chessbot. After move is done, the program will show you whether it was correct or not. You can configure difficulty of the game by selecting the number of the variants, which will be shown on the chessboard. It is strongly recommended to play these games in a longer time controls for better experience. 5 minute blitz, 10 minute rapid, or even classic time controls. And one more important button on the Coach tab, Online Analysis Chessboard. Here you can set up any position on the board by dragging pieces. Press Calculate button to see the next move suggested by the Stockfish Chess Engine. You can add or remove pieces at any moment or set up position using FEN string. If you need stronger calculation, you can increase thinking time for the engine. This tool is easy to use and absolutely free. So this was Chessbot X, the new coach mode. Learn chess in a fun way. Hope you'll enjoy it. Now move on to the advanced tab. There is one more new hotkey, Control plus B. This hotkey turns on and turns off the battle mode. Always use battle mode when playing automatically against other computers. Chessbot will be a bit faster. The next feature, Engine Manager. Now you can create a list of your favorite chess engines and change them quickly in two clicks. You can do it even during the game, but in that case, you need to stop the bot first. Anyway, it is much more convenient. Simulate Human Moves feature now has much more levels of speed. 
Also, new extra smooth option will allow bot to move cursor even more gently. Take a look. Isn't it beautiful? One more thing here, the systems settings button. Here you can configure some specific settings like coach strength or alternative images for evaluation marks. Please note that these settings are for advanced users only. You will find more information on the website in the instructions section. You think that's all? Nope. Take a look at what else ChessBot X 1.5.8 has on board. Well, now I guess that's all guys. Hope you will enjoy the new version. Play chess and have fun. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire?